Hey everyone, Matthew Harris here. Glad you're back. Thanks for joining us on today's video on how to forge aluminum. It's also a look into the current job that we're working on, which is these fabricated uh, aluminum railings. These are going on top of a porch balcony on the front of a home. So there's these panels that are laser cut and fabricated, but there's also a bunch of scroll work that goes into the center of the main panel. And this ties into the design inside of the house. So while all this work was done cold or with welding, we are going to do a mix of hot forging and some cold shaping and all of the scroll work in the center panel of this rail. Here's also a drawing down here of what that scroll work will look like in the center of the panel. Okay, so we're gonna start off by forging one of the main scrolls on this piece, which will require us hot forging a taper on the end of the bar and then hot forging the scroll as well. So we'll show you how to forge aluminum. Now, one of the big challenges with aluminum is it never shows the heat. Steel is easy to forge because it'll show a red color, it'll show an orange color, yellow, whatever. It shows the color, you know how hot it is. The difficulty with aluminum is it never shows the color. When it's getting ready to go completely molten and melt off, it looks exactly the same as it does when it's cold. So how do you combat that and control the process? Well, we're gonna show you how. <laughs> Okay, so Jared is going to heat the aluminum. No, fire it up, man. Um, while I forge it, how I'm going to tell how hot the aluminum is is by a simple pine stick, rubbing that on the surface of the aluminum when it's heated. When it starts turning a dark brown, not a light brown, but a dark brown, then you know it's ready to forge, it's soft enough, but it's not gonna melt away. That gets starting to smoke, so it's in the there already. But it's not showing brown or black on the metal. Right. Still not quite there. You can do this with any heat source. The principle is the same. Check the metal. Close. Run it to fairly easily rub a brown mark on it. Now see that? That is now ready to forge. Just like steel, you'll feel it harden up, but you can see how much that material moved. There's no cracking because we didn't overheat it, and that's a good forging. So we're just gonna heat it again and keep going. in there so we're going to be careful to not overheat it. Yep, here we go. Okay, so we have a decent rough taper started on that. You can see the material taper out. It also spread. Um, that's just rough done. I'll refine that some, but that's about a six inch long taper. Yeah, you can 
smoke and turn to black. And now I'm gonna start forming that scroll work. You can see the material's soft and wants to move. Just like you would with iron, you begin to forge that scroll. That's the first part of it. We'll do a lot of the remaining portion on the scroll tool. Okay, so the pre-shaping on the end of the scroll is done. Now we're heating the bar up and we're gonna begin the scroll work. Not up to heat yet. This is a pine stick. You can also use a bar of plain ivory soap to do pretty much the same thing. It acts very similar to the pine stick. Good luck finding that. forging on this piece and this scroll is going to become one of the main elements in this panel. We got a nice uniform scroll without any kinks in it. The key is really to be patient and just keep checking with the pine stick. That's the only indicator of the heat. Now I'm actually going to take a bar and show you what happens when you get the heat wrong. Turn to black when I touched it with the uh, pine stick. So that's still within the forging range. It's on the very high end. Now we're deliberately going to overheat it to show what you shouldn't do. There's chips all over the anvil and all over me. And you can, it, it wants to fracture. It's just lost all its structural integrity. Don't overheat it is the key. So keep checking it with this. Be patient. Get it up to a brown color with the stick. Not a black, but a, a dark brown color. And um, then go to town forging it. I will say it's not like iron it's not as forgiving as iron in many ways because if you were to come in and like fuller this tight and then try to bend this you could get away with that in iron if you fuller this really tight in aluminum it's going to create a weak spot where that material like wants to fracture so there's a limitation to what you can do with aluminum hot it's easy to pull out a simple taper and form a scroll but beyond that you're not going to get away with um, as much as with iron, but it is a fun material to forge even though it's a bit challenging.
We don't want your filming. Get out of here. We're filming here. The film free zone. How do we feel about aluminium? It sucks. Don't forge it. <laughs> That's why they make steel. <laughs> <laughs> you want to forge something that looks like aluminum? It's called stainless. That doesn't rust either. It would be a tad heavier, but it's going to go a million percent back. So, here's a lot of the progress. With these happy, happy don't guys. Watch this video, you don't want to learn how. <laughs> Leave now. Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Unsubscribe to YouTube and get off social media platforms. <laughs> Quit blacksmithing. <laughs> Quit. Because whatever you do, you're you heard fail. it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that word of encouragement? Because just give up. Just quit. Because whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna fail. So. Don't even try. Don't even try. Don't don't waste your tears. <laughs> This is the this is the raw unfiltered version. <laughs> it is tricky, but I've spent seven years here forging aluminum. I've spent seven years on this one straw. <laughs> how to forge aluminum hot and cold shaping but it can yield a beautiful result it just takes a lot of patience a little bit of trial and error so we got to grind these up finish up a few details and then these will be out the door on to another project thanks again everyone for joining us on this video we'll catch you on the next go around don't forge aluminum <laughs> Hey, give me your thoughts again on uh, forging aluminum. Like, don't hold back, you know. Well, 